um, copper wire or just any jewelry wire that's thick enough and easy to work with. The one that I have here is kind of thin. I would go for a thicker one. This one's 0.5 millimeters thick. Um, but I would go for a thicker one if possible because it just makes things easier. And here are the examples that I made. Some of them aren't very good, but there's a general idea. Yep. And three different kinds of pliers to cut and to wind your wire into um, preferred shapes. So this is my flat nose plier. And then here's the cutting one. Here's the flat side. And here's the side that creates the curve, an even edge. And then you'd want a pair of round nose pliers. A pencil to wrap your ear cuff around and a ruler. So first you'd want to take your um, wire and measure it uh, for this type of ear cuff because I made two types. They're pretty similar but it really depends what kind of cuff you like. So for this one you see the opening is right here. Oh, focus. Okay there we go. Like in the middle right there. And for this one, um, the opening is actually on the back. So there's a difference. I'm going to show you how to make this one first because this one's easier. For this one, you'd probably want a wire length about 11 centimeters. So let's measure this first. And make sure the flat side is facing this way because then you get a sharper like a less jagged wire. Okay, now here's your piece of wire. And then take your round nose pliers and make a little circle around one of, oops, one of the, uh, what do you call these things? Not the pliers, but like one of the, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um. So yeah, just do this. Why won't it focus? Because it can't be too close. Something like that. And after you have a loop, you want to pinch it a little with your pliers so that it's not that big. And here's a smaller loop. Just readjust it. And then take your flat nose pliers again. And basically just coil it. This time, I'm kind of coiling it um, towards that way. So then use your finger and just bend it like that. So there's like a little bit of a curve right there. And then take your pencil. And this is actually going to be my top because I want it on top. Okay, and hold it. And basically, this is a really easy part. You just curl it around the pencil until you reach this side of the circle. Okay, so right there. And then you would want to bend it. Use your fingers. That's why I like using a thinner wire for this because it still works. It still holds onto your ears, but it's a lot easier to work with. But of course, a thicker wire will be more durable and the shape won't like randomly form into something else. So basically, we'll want to do something like that. Just bend it and then wrap around the pencil again until you reach that edge again. And then do the same thing. Bend the wire. <laughs> into this kind of shape and obviously it doesn't have to be perfect because you can always readjust, readjust it and then you'd want to bring the wire back to this side and after bringing it back to this side I'm just going to bring it right here take it out of the pencil so you've pretty much got a perfect circular shape that's going to fit around your ear with some adjustments and then Take your pliers, your round nose pliers, clamp it on, and form another circle. And then you want to pinch it for 
a small loop. Okay, and then take your round nose pliers, I mean your flat nose pliers, and then just coil until you reach right here. And now you can see how the shape is kind of deformed. But have no fear, just put it in your pencil, wrap it around it, and readjust it accordingly. Yeah, this one's definitely not my best one, but it takes a little while to get used to. You can just readjust it. So here you go, there's your first cuff. Yeah, you can see it better this way now. Yeah, I have a better one, which is right here. So like this one, the better one was actually my first one. But yeah, you can see how this one's a lot prettier. Now I'm going to show you how to make the second style, which is this one. For this one, you can just use 10 centimeters a bit, the same as last time. You start the same, you just coil it differently. So round those pliers, form a circle. flat nose pliers and coil it, wrap it around around three times if you want. Bend it a little with your nail. So it's like that. This was not perfect again. But here you go. And then take your pencil and this time the only difference is that when you're wrapping it, keep in mind that this is your middle not where the cuff opening is. The cuff opening is going to be right here. So 180 degrees from it if you view it from like this weird angle. But anyways, you wrap it and you bring it so that it's halfway around here. And then do the same thing, you bend it so that's like that. You pinch it a little so it's a little thinner. Then you bring it back to the circle and then you actually keep going until you meet this side again. And then you do the same thing. Pinch it. Make it thinner. And once you're to in, in the middle, you can actually just wrap the circle and coil it. But I think it's gonna be too long this time. So I'm gonna trim it. Take your round nose pliers and curl towards you. So that it's, the coils are going in different directions. Oh, why is it out of frame? <laughs> it's not focusing, which ticks me off. Flat nose pliers, just coil. And ta-da, there it is. You want to form the circular shape again. It kind of died, got squished in the middle. So you put it back onto the pencil and you just play around with it until it comes out the way that you want it to. And there you go. So here's the first part of the tutorial where I just show you how to make the cuffs. But, and then I'll show you how to decorate it and finish it off in the next video. So yeah, I hope you liked it.